The family of a Minnesota artist, a Minneapolis artist, is finding comfort in the hundreds of paintings that she created. Arlene Burke Morgan died last month, but she left behind a studio full of exquisite artwork. It pulls you in. I mean, with all of those layers, you could just, I just look and I can imagine from certain distances just falling into the space. Arlene and her husband Clarence Morgan moved to Minneapolis in 1992 to accept teaching positions in the Department of Art at the University of Minnesota. And as we discovered in this week's life story, Arlene's talent and creativity was visible in all that she did. And I remember kind of watching her build these up, you know, and there was just so much attention to detail. And that was my mom. She was very deliberate. Naima Morgan Cloud is also an artist and now spending time going through all of her mother's creations. Decades of paintings, many of them featuring what Arlene Burke Morgan called circles of light. She was a very spiritual woman. Mm -hmm. um, and so this was, yes, this was a practice that was, that was slow, that was meditative. You know, everything just kind of drifted away. She remembers being mesmerized as a child, watching her mother work. She started off as a ceramicist, so she had magnificent arms. I mean, like Tina Turner, like amazing arms, you know? So I remember just being younger and just holding her arms and just the strength in her arms and, and her hands. Over the years, Arlene's artwork earned her exhibits in prestigious galleries, fellowships, grants, and invitations to teach. The curator of paintings at the Minneapolis Institute of Art became a fan. And across that surface, you have this buzzing, uh, interactive uh, sense that what's on that canvas isn't static, but it's going to start moving around, and it's organic. So that's really one of the things that I feel she excelled at. Marriage was another one of her successes. She and her husband Clarence were featured in a Twin Cities public television report where they talked about working side by side. When we show together, you can see there's a separation, but then you can see there's an underlining tone, a tie, that sort of binds us together. They had a very beautiful, beautiful relationship mm -hmm. and, and highly influenced each other. She believes Arlene was most proud of being a wife, a mother, and a grandmother. Arlene Burke Morgan was 67 years old when she died on December 16th, just days after her 47th wedding anniversary. If you have a life story suggestion for us, please share it with us at WCCO.com slash links. Life story and a love story. Yeah, it was, was great. Sweet. Very, Very sweet. sweet. Yeah.